still holding the same grip. I'll come on this way so I'll give you a better, give you a better look at that. Am I here? Am I here? Okay, I'm going to turn. I'm right here. Look what my grip is. Now what I'm going to do is just take it straight down to his ankle and sit down. Put it here. Okay, and move not mad, as you see. Okay, one thing about the signal, like if you notice, wrestling isn't, or grappling, or just in the ring, it isn't once you get this, this isn't the hard part, when you get the leg. If I gave you an opportunity to start off your fight in the octagon or in the ring with the signal like from this position, you say, wow, that's a good idea, wouldn't you? I mean, if you were the guy with the leg, if you were this guy, you would. You're like, hey, that's not fair. So if you do all the fighting to get to this, you you got to get a takedown from here. And the thing about it is, if you ever notice, like, the wrestlers like uh, Mark Coleman or, or Mark Kerr, who do a lot of single legs in the octagon, when they get somebody's leg, the guy, once they get your leg, you're not on your feet for more than a second and a half. That's where you're not going to, people, a lot of guys say, when I'm showing them, they hey, is he going to punch me right here? No, if you get right here and you stand right here all day, yes, he will punch you. But once you, if you notice those other guys, those good, good fighters, once they just single like the guy is probably right here for a second and a half before he's taken down. The minute I work to get to right here, as soon as I get right here, I'm not going to stay right here. Like I'm looking at him from right here. If I go slow, it's like I take a second. If I walk up here, he gives me his leg. I take it. I'm going to fight. He wasn't up for him. That wasn't even a second. I didn't have him for a second and a half. So no. Answer is, he will not have an opportunity to hit you because if you just sing like you're supposed to be the happiest man in the world because now you're getting a takedown. Okay, now let's reverse it a little bit. Let's go from the single leg back to a double leg. Now I like this because it's a good easy takedown. A lot of guys that I, that a lot of guys that teach here at top team use this. I mean, I can show it one time, and they use it in the octagon with a lot of success. If you saw the last fight, I believe uh, Nagara is having a really good, uh, a really really good success with this with this move. It's almost like going to a combination ankle pick uh, double leg because I'm right here. The minute I get the double, I mean the single leg, all I'm going to do now is use my shoulder and my leg. If you look at my legs, are, I'm like this. I'm not standing straight. I'm like this. I'm using my legs to push and my shoulder into a side to go right down for the other leg, almost like a double leg ankle pick. So I'm right here. All I'm going to do is right here. Okay? And the important thing about this move is, all I'm doing is, I'm using my shoulder into his leg. Okay, and I'm not reaching at the knee. I'm reaching for his ankle, from right here. If any of you were, have ever played football, you know what I'm talking about. This is just like a football tackle. All I'm doing is shoulder here. And notice I keep my head up when I do it. I'm not shooting like this. My head is up. I can see the leg. I can leave my head up and still see his, his foot to see what I want to go for. So I'm right here. I'm pulling everything. All I want to do now is just let go of the leg. I'm like go just like that. So I'm gonna do it. So I'm right here. I'm holding tight. I'm gonna let go. I'm using my shoulder. To follow his leg, got my shoulder falls over down here to that, and I'm grabbing. I'm just simply grabbing here and here, hugging. And from here, I just climb up quickly, avoiding the guard. That's what I want to do because this is just like uh, if I'm if I'm in his guard, I'm finding it out. So this way, I'm avoiding the guard. Okay, and I come around to the side. Okay, like I said, this is a good move. If you saw Nagara wrestling, uh, when Nagara fought uh, Minotaur, when he fought uh, Heath Herring, he used it. And what he did was once they were in the, they were, uh, they were grappling in the corner, and he just reached out and he grabbed the single leg, just simply and, and smartly. And all he did from right here is he just let go. I mean, you, you, you have to trust yourself with this one because it's not like you just, a lot of times it looks like I'm just letting go and grabbing, but I'm not. I'm letting go, and when I let go, my shoulder is pushing this leg right here. Look at this. Got my shoulders going straight down here, falling all the way down right here. So the grab is there. Okay? One more time. I'm right here, I'm a little bit faster so I can see it. I'm right here, I'm going right here. I'm almost right here. To my head, to my legs. And right here, all I'm doing is just, just lift a little, I'm hugging the legs. I'm not grabbing my arm. If I grab my arm right here, it might leave room for him to pull out. He might be pulling his legs out. That's why I just want to hug him close to my chest. Okay? And also keeps from getting kicked. Right here, it's going to be hard for him to start his feet out. If he can start his foot out, he might start around kicking me in the head. So I'm going to hold right here, hold him with my 
And what, what, one thing about hugging that people don't know, and a lot of uh, wrestling and grappling, I use my hands, my arms, my chest, and also use my chin, right here. Because all these help to keep them secure. And securing the guy is very important. Right here, secure, then work up. Now work up to his body, to the side of Okay, another really, really good single leg that we've been using here at Top Team is when we just switch off from a, a quick little step from a, we step into a, a high crotch, okay? We're controlling the leg in here real good, and all we want to do is just step into it. I take one step. I know it's going to take this, I'm going to do this, but I'm not stepping into it. I'm stepping in an angle. I'm right here. I'm just going to step in an angle. I'm right here. I'm stepping this way. Right here. And I lift. Okay? So all I'm doing is, he's right here. All I'm doing is I got this, when I have the, uh, I have the single leg, all I want to do is step into him. I'm not stepping straight. I'm going to step in angle so I can go here. From here, I use my legs to lift and not my back. It's easy. If I use my legs, I'm in trouble. And if I use my back, I'm in trouble. Okay. One more time. I got a single leg. All I'm going to do is a step and use this right at this crotch. I'm not grabbing at the leg, I'm grabbing straight at the crotch. I'm right here. I'm up here. I lift up from here. My legs. Switch off to double leg position here. And then just stop. Much more from the other direction. Okay. I'm right here. I got it. I'm going to step into it. So I'm pinching right here. I'm going to step. Lift him. Come right here. Switch off the double leg. We move this side and down. To the side now. Once more. Now, this move, what's going to happen? A lot of guys are going to try this move. And where are you going to? If you lack of a better term, screw up, is you're going to try to go and not lift. You can lift with your back and not with your legs. Uh, I was showing this move to top team a couple few practices ago, and the one of the guys said, I can't do this because my back is hurting today. I said, oh, it's good that your back is hurting you because this will help you to do this move correctly. You won't try to lift with your back. And that's what a lot of people feel with this move is they try to lift with their back. I can't lift it with my back. My back's not strong. But right here, most when I step in, I'm doing a nice little right here. Just like a squat. If I'm, if I'm in the weight room and I'm going to do like uh, some squats, I'm right here. And I'm doing like this. I'm not doing like this. And that's what I got to do. They're going to be right here trying to lift. I'm going to get in trouble. And I'm lifting this I'm doing the same way with my legs. With my back straight. Okay? And I won't hurt myself either. That's the best way you can see it. This direction. Right here. I'm right here. All I'm going to do is just step in. And watch I do like a squat position. Just my legs about the same width apart if I had a bar on my back. So I'm right here. I switch up to here. Now all I do is just switch straight up. I switch off to here. And up. Avoiding the guard. Okay, and one thing about this move, the only, the only way we can really get in trouble is if someone in the process he grabs a guillotine. And that can happen. It does happen. And this is how we more or less defend against it. On my here, I got the single leg. I'm just going to step in. He can, when I can step in and get him up, he's going to do like a lot of guys do, especially in the most part fighting. They go and they'll get a guillotine. If you, if you remember one fight, I remember Dan Henderson's uh, first tournament here in Brazil. He got a, uh, actually the guy, one of the, one of the Brazilians, did a single leg on Dan. He picked Dan up in the air. So what Dan did was Dan grabbed the guillotine and choked him out in the air. And the guy could have eliminated that easily. From right here, if I get the single leg, from right here, when I step in, I'm, I'm right here, I step in, I lift the guillotine. He grabs the guillotine right here. Now it seems like I might be in trouble if he starts to squeeze real good. But what I do is I switch off to this double leg to here. And I eliminate the guillotine in the air by just sweeping his body this way and going under, like a baby kick. Now, he doesn't have a guillotine. If he does have it, he's got it against the back of my neck, not in the front with control. Right here, I just bring him right down.
Okay, now we're going to show this move one more time, and uh, he's going to get more aggressive with the, uh, with the guillotine once I get him in the air to show how you can get in trouble in this position. Right here. Look in here. Let's switch off the double leg. Now, I have to, it's very important that I shift him in the air. All I want to do is use my hips, throw him up like that a little bit, to here, like a baby carrot. Now the choke is off my neck, so I'm not, I'm not in too much trouble. I'm just going to shake him in here and bring him down. Just side mount. 